Leo, what is up? Welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. My name is Jordan. This is a general timeless reading for all Leo placements. So take what resonates, leave the rest. Energies can be reversed. So place them how you see fit. And if you want a personal reading or a Reiki session to dive into your own situation or your own healing journey with me, go ahead, book it down below through my website description box. And please check out my Reiki certification classes. I have them available online and in person throughout April and May, as well as individually. So go ahead, check it out. I'd love to work with you and help you on your journey. But let's see what we got for you, Leo. Leo. This is Tattoo Tarot and the Clarifier deck is Crystal Visions for those of you who like the tarot decks. So let's see, Leo. Leo. What do we have for Leo? There's showing me a lot of fire with you, Leo. You have the sun, which is fire. Um, you show me a lot of fire with you, which typically when I see fire, I actually associate it with Aries. They're showing me a lot of fire with you, kind of like five of wands, like an aggression energy, which is Leo energy. Two of wands and the star, the sun, the star, and the two of wands. I feel like you're really about to pick up speed and you're really going to head in the direction that is meant for you. I feel like there's a lot of choices you're going to have to make though with the two of wands here. I think there's a lot of opportunities and a lot of things presenting to you right now. Um, there's a lot of daydreaming going on here. There's a lot of like, um, it's almost like you're leaning into faith a lot, which is really nice. It feels like a really nice, very positive energy. I love this for you, Leo. So let's see what else we have for you. I feel a lot of people around you though. Four of Pentacles and the Hangman. I feel just a lot of people around you. It's almost like um, things that typically would be a distraction. You're just like, yeah, there's a lot of things going on, but I'm okay. And you're just kind of sitting in the middle of it. And I like that for you because it's almost like there's a part of you that's no longer getting overwhelmed by like external chaos, which is really nice. You have the Four of Pentacles and then you have the Hangman. I feel like you're holding on to this. Um, I know the hangman's typically, when you study tarot, the hangman is about the surrender, the in-between, going through the dark night of the soul in a sense, um, being suspended. And uh, For me as a reader, it's about new perspectives. I think that you are holding on to this hangman energy because you know that there's a new way to look at the world that you are creating. And I, I love this for you. There's something, um, I, it's almost like intuitively you know it's not time to move forward yet. And that's indicative by the two of wands and the hangman. The two of wands is waiting for the three. It's waiting for the new beginning to come in. It's waiting for the ships to come in so you can get on them and start your journey. Right now, you're just in the state of manifesting, of creating, and that's amazing. I like this for you. Yeah, then you have the ten of swords in reverse, and I'll take the emperor in reverse. Oh, I might as well take all three of them. Okay, um, bottom of the deck is the hierophant. Yeah. You're doing great because what you're ending is something that is very painful. It is very painful. And with the Emperor in reverse and the... Okay. Um, I feel that this Emperor is in reverse because they're absent. They feel absent. They don't feel bad. They don't feel manipulative. Um, even if you think in your situation that applies. I'm just saying right now in their energy, they don't feel that way. I feel that emotionally you're becoming detached from this energy. There's a lot of hurt and pain between these two. Like, I feel like I feel called to put the Ten of Swords between the two of them. That feels more fitting. And with the Tower, that I feel like this had to occur. I won't be shocked if we see both these energies uh, clarified with different court cards um, to show where they're going after this ending occurred between the two of them. I feel like the Queen, the feminine energy is... Leo energy, I feel like they're really looking forward, whereas this Emperor energy feels like it's quite literally watching the feminine, even how they're laid on the table, even if I kept them next to each other, their eyes are on this Queen of Cups. Um, I feel like this person watches the Queen from afar. Emperor is Aries energy, Queen of Cups is Cancer, Tower is Scorpio, Hangman is Pisces, the Star is Aquarius, and the Sun is Leo. So you started off with your energy, which is great. Uh, let's get into it. You have the Hierophant on the bottom of the deck, which is also Taurus, Aries energy for me as a reader. I like this. I like this a lot. Let me put that. Can you still see it? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Let me just shift everything a little bit. Nice. Okay. What do we 
have for you, Leo? Leo, you need a I'm a boss deck. You need a um this is like too lovey dovey for you right now. You feel very empowered and I like that. Actually, yeah, let's use Witch's Tarot. That's a sassy freaking deck. Yeah, it is. It's sassy. Let's see what's going on for you, Leo. Leo. They know your worth. I heard it very loud. They know your worth. They know your worth. Oh, this can be interesting. There's a lot of mirroring that goes on here. Um, as in, like, I feel like this person is starting. It's almost like there's parts of you they wish they had, right? So that could be the way you respect yourself or your integrity or uh, your work ethic. It could be any of those things. And it's almost like they wish they could do that. Like there's a fear or there's limiting belief that stops them from embodying those things. So let's see what's, what's going on here with the sun. Why is the sun here for Leo? It's your personal power. Okay. Makes sense. The sun's also the solar plexus. Yeah. Knight of cups in reverse. You're like, I'm over it. I don't want it. I don't want it. Four of wands in reverse. You're like, nope, it's not stable. I, I deserve better. You're getting to a place of really, really realizing I don't want this. I don't want this. It doesn't light me up. It doesn't make me happy. It is something that is a false promise. They come in, they offer things, but then the Knight of Cups it, in reverse, any Knight in reverse is a very non-committal energy. Um, it's like the false promises. Yeah. So let's get one more on the sun. Ten of Swords. Fitting. Very fitting. Yeah. That's the ending. So that makes sense. No more. Two to do. I like it. I like it. Because it's somebody who feels really confident in the fact that like, you know what? It's ending for a reason. I'm better without it. Why? Why do you do me like that? Then you have the magician on the star, which is really nice. The magician is uh, mercurial, Gemini, Virgo energy with the star here. I, this is this is like your textbook manifesting like the universe i know you're bringing this to me i know you're bringing me this new relationship i know you're bringing me that abundance i know you're bringing me that health that's what this is this is quite literally like i'm a master manifester i'm embodying my personal power in every way possible and no one's going to stop me letting go of this made space for you to literally thrive to bust out of your shell and start doing the things that really light you up so this could be an ending of a marriage. It could be ending of a relationship. Yeah, and there, this is Leo energy to me as a reader. You're quite literally like, I'm a boss. Don't mess with me. This is Master Manifester. Queen of Wands, King of Wands, and the Magician are my three Master Manifester cards in this deck. And you have the Feminine version and the, the, the Divine version. Um, the Major Arcana. There we go. Thank you. Um, I like this. I like this so much for you. This is... You, Keep your mindset really positive at this time. Even with Mercury hanging out and your fellow air sign, I'm sorry, fire sign of Aries, um, communication and the way that we think could be very impulsive. It could even be really aggravated. So be mindful of those aspects. And the more positive you think at this time, the more creative you think at this time, the more you are going to reap rewards from it because you're in a very potent manifestation, like high frequency energy, which is really nice. So let's look at the two of wands. Okay, they're, no, oh, yeah. I immediately felt them like they're trying, but it's not going to happen. They're like, here's the offer. And you're like, no, nah, I don't want it. Stop. And this is like all the people around you. You could even be getting other people offering you dates or offering you jobs or offering you like, hey, let's hang out. And you're just like, nah, like I need to spend some time with myself. I need to do things for myself. Okay. Four of Pentacles. You have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. They're making this offer. Um, they're fear, they're fearful of the of the change. That's what they're fearful of. With the five of swords and the nine of swords, there's a four of swords in between. Uh, whoever keeps making offers to you, this knight of pentacles, even though they're a knight in reverse all the time, they don't really have an intention of following through with it. It's kind of like keeping you on the string kind of thing. With the five of swords and the nine of swords, it's almost like whatever communication they have is based in their feelings of like betrayal or anger or hurt or guilt, shame, whatever yucky feelings they have. And they're struggling to heal it for themselves. Meanwhile, you're over here just like, I'm out of here. Like I'm not doing this eight of wands. Um, so you might even be thinking of moving at this time. I feel like this person intuitively knows that you're thinking of moving, or maybe you've even flat out said that you're moving because the eight of wands is the card of travel. Um, 
this is triggering a big feeling of betrayal or rejection in them at times. So just be mindful of that or not, right? They're bad. They can lay in it. Bottom of the deck, you have the two of cups in reverse. This was meant to fall apart. It had to. It had to fall apart in this way. So let's look at the hangman. The hangman. We have the nine of cups, the ace of cups, and the empress. Yeah, you're staying put where you are, and you're just like, I'm going to work on myself. I'm going to give myself all this love. I'm going to learn to nurture my emotional state. I'm going to become this divine feminine energy and make sure that all my freaking cups are filled by me. Mm. That's a very independent, very loving, very nurturing, very kind, very compassionate, empathetic, motherly energy. But it is somebody who knows how to give all the ways in which they love others to themselves as well. And they do it in a balanced way. This is healthy boundaries. This is knowing your worth. It's moving with integrity. It's just, I love it. I love it. I want some more of it. So we have the Empress, right? And then we have the Emperor in Reverse over here. So let's see what this Emperor in Reverse this is a day one. Let's see what it is. And maybe you only encounter this person to learn a new level of self-worth for yourself. Yeah, da, 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 da. Then we have the lovers in reverse, death in reverse, the world, and the seven of cups. They daydream about this a lot. Um, it's already done. It's like six feet deep, 600 feet deep, kind of done. Um, and they know it. They know it. They made their bed. They're lying with it. They de daydream about reaching out a lot. They even try to figure out maybe they have like little manipulative ways of trying to get you to respond as well. Yeah, page of pentacles. It's like surface level offers like, oh, what are you up to? You've been on my mind. Like things like that. It's no like depth to the conversation. It's just nice weather we're having today, right? What you been up to? It's nothing, no, it's surface level. And quite frankly, it feels like it's for themselves to make themselves feel better for whatever happened between the two of you because they have no intention of actually following through with it. Yeah, nope, you know this, you know this. You're like, yeah, I'm out, toodles. I like this. Let's look at the 10 of swords. I feel rebirth energy coming here and it doesn't mean you got to accept it. Yeah, page of wands, there they are again. <laughs> two of wands. It's like, you know, they're going to continuously reach out. They're really struggling to just let it go, to let it be done. Um, this is, this is your textbook. Someone's so uncomfortable at change that they'll hold on to the familiar, even if it's not healthy, or even if they know it shouldn't continue, right? This is someone who struggles with change that much to that extent that they rather stay in what is already broken than have the opportunity to step into something brand new face the uncomfortable feeling of the new and build something new for themselves. Uh, yeah, because they're turning their back to the three wands that they have in their life. And they're like, no, I'm just going to like pretend that this is over here and this is going to be fine. And they have the opportunities that they've wanted to come in and they're saying no to it because they're struggling to walk away, right? And they're fearful of the unknown. Underneath the high priestess was the moon, which is just more unknown energy. It's also the subconscious or fears. So let's look at the Queen of Cups, Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, I think we're seeing how you felt in the dynamic with this person. It was almost like giving, 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 really wanting to receive, but with the six and the nine, there's a three of pentacles between it. This was not a collaboration. This was like a service. It's like, I'm giving and giving and giving to you, and now my cup is empty. I need to give back to myself. Nine of pentacles. Nine of pentacles speaks to insecurities or feeling depleted of your own energy. The nine of pentacles is the mastery of self in the material world. So this could be your physical health declined, um, your money declined, your you know, anything material started declining. Okay. Yeah. Ace of P Pentacles in reverse. Ooh, words today. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. King of Cups. There's a lot of love here. There is. Um, there's a part of you that does think about a new beginning, but it's like right now the priorities may. Right now, the priority is me. This person's so focused on you, they're not even thinking about how to help themselves. Um, they're very focused on you. And what you're doing is very healthy. It's very healthy. Let's look at the tower. Five of Wands. Yeah. I won't be shocked if stuff hits the fan here. Yeah, because somebody's going to come in. I feel like this is your night again. Coming in in reverse when they know they shouldn't. 
just a fight just a fight because they feel everything crumbling all this change and they're like what's going on it just it has to it has to it's like you got a little kid throwing a tantrum it's like you tell them no we're not going to the candy store and they're like well what are you doing later maybe we should go out and do something like go to the candy store and you're like no we're not going to the candy store and then they throw a fit because you've said it 600 times and they don't want to accept it okay Hierophant, Six of Wands, Ten of Wands in the Tower, and the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, it's crazy because you had the opportunity to have a really stable foundation with this person, like a Ten of Pentacles with this person, but I think you're realizing that this was more so showing you the work that has to go into a Ten of Pentacles, because right now you're being tested to achieve the Nine, right? So you're working on healing and loving yourself and in turn your material world is going to improve because you're going through this transformation and releasing the burden that this relationship was bringing to the external of your life flourishing right so your finances growing your work improving your home improving maybe you're trying to move maybe this new house you needed energetic space for it and that means getting rid of this relationship that drained you so much you're heading towards victory i like this and the Hierophant there tells me that you're learning the lesson. The Hierophant's not just about marriage and commitment. It is the card of lessons. And this is definitely a big lesson for you. I don't think that this person is supposed to stick around. I think that this is very much so, um, at least for now, you're not meant to be together until they can learn not to be, in my opinion, right? A page or a knight. They need to learn to be in a healthy energy for themselves because um, right now they're chasing instead of working on who they are and that's that's hard you know and there they are bottom of the deck is a knight in reverse and it's self-sabotaging seven of swords and then you have the six of cups in reverse yeah um they're just really struggling to heal themselves and they're putting all their energy and attention elsewhere instead of all the things that they should be working on to be healthy and who they are Leo, if you want a personal reading or a Reiki session to help you on your healing journey or to know more about your personal situation, go ahead and book it down below. I have Reiki certification classes for April and May, both in person and online available. So go ahead and check it out. I have 15% off all my services right now as well. So take advantage of that through the month of March. And I love you. I wish you the best. Please give this video a thumbs up. It helps the channel grow. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.